So, Lenore, um, when you heard about the, the attack in Central Park, didn't that give you some second thoughts? Um, I actually only heard about it this morning, and it made me very, very sad um, for the woman. Um, it always is upsetting when something terrible happens, and I don't want anything bad to happen to any children, but I know that when my mom was sending me out, and I think probably even when Renee's mom was sending her out, it wasn't that they were sending us into a world with absolutely no crime and absolutely perfect. They told us, don't take candy from strangers, don't go off with strangers, be with your friends, and that's all you can ever hope for. And I really think that the reason this is on the front page today is because, A, it's a horrible story. B, it is so strange and so unusual to hear but, of a daytime there, rape in New but York. But, Renee, as you know, I mean, there are thousands of registered sex offenders in, in New York City alone, Manhattan alone. There are thousands of registered sex offenders alone. We don't know where they are. They used to send out letters to people who are in, if, if a sex offender moved into your neighborhood, to let you know that they were living near school. Now, they're not supposed to be living near school, but where are you going to put them? They have to live somewhere. I, I wanted to come back today because I was outraged. I was outraged. No way am I going to let my child or anybody else's child, and I'm sure there are mothers here who feel the same way I do, unsupervised. We live in a world today that is not safe. Now, we may believe that it is, but it's not.